Welcome back to Get Connected, coming to you from the heart of the South in Savannah. It's great to welcome you back to Savannah. I'm Con Jackson. We're getting you connected to one of the most pristine historical places in the world. Now, I'm standing inside the Bonaventure Cemetery, known, well, their name Bonaventure translates into good fortune. I don't know necessarily good fortune for them, though the view here is spectacular, but it's the loved ones that come and visit here that just feel good about where their loved ones are buried. Well, the Bonaventure Cemetery is a National Historic Preservation Site, but is also world-renowned because of a novel, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. What an excellent book, but to come to find out, it's a true story about a case, but the defense attorney, his name is Sonny Seiler. He's a legend around these parts for many things, not only for being a great lawyer, dad, husband, but also owner of one of the most famous dogs in the world. And I sat in his law offices in downtown Savannah. Wait till you meet this outstanding Southern gentleman. I really believe that uh, the reason I went to law school was not so much to become a lawyer, but because I was so attached to the university in the 50s as a student that I just wasn't ready to leave. When you look at 55 years plus of marriage, what's the best thing about marrying a Southern Belle? Well, best thing is I wouldn't marry one from the North. <laughs> but we've had four wonderful children. All of them are doing well. We have seven grandchildren and um, we are a close-knit family. We do a lot of things together. Uh, you guys get married and then a wedding gift would change your life. Well, yes, that's true. Um, one of the boys that she dated back in Columbus was Frank Hurd. And after we married, Frank gave us the first Ugga, which was a small English bulldog puppy at the time. We could hardly feed ourselves, let alone a, a dog, which revolutionized our life. And uh, since then, we've had all of the Georgia mascots. And it's been a labor of love. Was that his name when he was given to you? No, he didn't have a name. But my classmate, Billy Young, said one morning to me over coffee, said, Sila, you know if I had that dog, I'd call him Ugga. I said, Ugga, what's Ugga? He said, you know, UGA, University of Georgia. I said, Billy, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> and so that's how the dog got his name. What's the best part about being a Georgia Bulldog? You know, it's hard to take a gator to a game on a string, but we can take a Bulldog there. And uh, I don't know how you'd take a yellow jacket to a game unless you put him in a jar and stuck some <laughs> holes in the top. So we've got that over the other schools. And as you know, Sports Illustrated um, has named uh, Aga, the best college mascot in the country. Well, we've enjoyed our time with you. Say hello to Aga. Say hello to your wonderful wife, Cecilia. And Thank you. Well, you don't have to be a Bulldog fan to root for Aga. What a great man. Thank you, Sonny, for sitting down with us. Right behind me is a river that leads to the Savannah River that, well, can take you out to the ocean of possibilities. And one of the great possibilities here in Savannah is love romance. It's in the air, it's everywhere. And in fact, it makes it one of the top destination places for weddings. And we'll find out about that when we return. Still to come, we'll uncover the seven charm that makes Savannah the ideal choice for a destination wedding. And the Girl Scouts tell Khan a thing or two. Serious look into the camera. It's cute. Stay with us. 